Hey there. Uh, what time are you guys open till? We're open till eight o'clock. Okay. Um, and uh, you guys have halal meat over there? Yeah, we do. We have halal. Everything's halal? Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I'll be there in like a couple hours. See you soon. Alright. Bye. What's halal, man? It's pretty much uh, saying a uh, saying a certain prayer, saying a prayer before you kill it. You know, it's like the Islamic ways. You know, pretty much. It's uh, there's a few other rules to it. You know, it's like the animals got to be a certain. Uh, it can't be too young. So I forget I forget the exact rules about like how old it has to be. I think different animals, different. Uh, like, since cows and sheep are like you know, cow sheep and goats are like you know usual. They have like you know certain ages that they should be under. So it's pretty much a certain size, you know, so like um, after that, they got to also be healthy, you know, raised properly and uh, uh, and then when you kill them, you got to say a prayer before you kill them. There's a way to kill them too. It's like no suffering, you just got to cut the throat, get three, uh, two and a half strokes, so and then like snap their neck so they don't feel any pain or anything. And then you got to let their uh, blood drain so that, you know, because we don't, can't eat blood. Blood is, blood, blood is around. So that's what makes it all out. So pretty much if I kill a person only too, you know, I, I'm able to say the prayer while I kill it something, you know? And then like, I just, obviously I'm not gonna drink my blood. The hell, you know, so. And I know how to process animals already. I was a butcher before I was anything else, before I even graduated high school, so. <laughs> my dad has forced me. <laughs> I don't want to, I cried every day. It's like family businesses, more like family labor. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is that they gave me food in, in exchange for my work. <laughs> <laughs> food, shelter, <laughs> <laughs> some meat. <laughs> some meat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's, that's life, man. You gotta like help your family and shit. You know? yeah, like, I did the same thing, I couldn't go to school when I was young. Yeah. Because I had to help like my dad and shit, like in the farm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't work in the, in the store till like 16, but like, um, I, I helped out, but I didn't necessarily work there like full time or anything. Uh, but Twinba and Naimba, they started like Naimba was like 12, you know? Twinba must have been like maybe uh, 14 or something or 15 uh, when he started. So, like, um, uh, so yeah, they were pretty young. So, they were going like every like weekend and stuff. So, so that's good. So they learned how, yeah, Naimba learned how to cut a lot of like chicken super fast, you know. Him and like Rashid, one of one of our one of the dudes that work with us, you know. Uh, they were like super fast, like you know, like just like how you see in the uh, uh, animes and everything, right? Like, it's like life is more life is more fantastic than fiction, you know. So like both of them, you know, they had the skills, bro. They could like cut the process like a box of chicken within minutes, man. Like, I, I eventually got, like, you know, pretty fast, too, you know, but, like, never that fast. They developed that, man. Yeah, over years, man. And some people get, like, they get good and they get better and they get good skills and they're just like, whoa, shit, what the fuck happened? They're like, Shh. Like yeah, you said, you know, they, they, they're, they're super fast. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then, uh, doing my man, one time, like, so they had a machine, right? Like, a big old saw machine, so, like, you got the bones and everything, so big cows and, like, you know, sheep and everything, too, goats and everything, too. So like, man, one time he cut his like four fingers clear off, man. Four of his fingers, he cut it off. Right here, did it tell you ever? No. For his fingers, he cut it off. Like, like I think like one of them was just hanging by like a like a thread or something, you know? What do you mean he cut his fingers? He cut his fingers off. All his fingers, they were off. 
But he like glued them back together? Yeah, like he was holding them and then like, I mean, I think like he said like they were like stuck by a little bit or something, you know? And he was holding them or I think it was like, uh, at least he cut them. I know for sure he cut like a lot of the meat, no? I'm not sure if he cut through the bones or not too, but like... Oh, so he cut, like, yeah, because I never heard that he actually cut his fingers. Uh, yeah, yeah, like four of whole, his fingers, all four. Like the whole finger came out, like... Yeah, they stitched it, they glued it back on. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like they, they took him to the hospital, he said like, yeah, four of his fingers got like cut off or something, or like one of them, right, at least. Like he said one of them was like hanging by like a, like, a small part of the skin and shit. I don't know how severe it was. Maybe he was exaggerating. Bro, you tell us the truth, nigga. Like, now after all this time, it's like, man, it was like, clear off, man. I didn't have any more fingers. I just used all like, uh... <laughs> You know, over time, stories get exaggerated, so. Fucking, <laughs> what's it called? Oh, my gosh, you got the name of it. Oh, nice name. I didn't cut my fingers, I just used a band-aid. <laughs> that was it. You motherfuckers thought I did, but no. Uh, like, that's funny. I'm tired, King, after all. I figure it out. 
sponsor me so that <laughs> so that I don't I don't take it from you. You guys give it to me. <laughs> You're like a warlord. Pacific Coast Scenic. I guess we're on the scenic drive. 101 PCH1. Yeah, yeah. We're on it. We're on it. We said we'd be driving it, and that's what we're doing. The ocean's gonna be to our left most of the way. Let's zoom out and see where it actually is. Bam! Right there. <laughs> it looks like it's close, but it's actually pretty far. <laughs> well, we got, we're gonna get closer, I guess. Yeah, we'll get closer and closer to it. What's 50 miles? <laughs> What's 50 miles of just you know jungle land? Nothing, man. That's what I just, you know, hike through. <laughs> like Shanks or Gold Rogers. More like Gold Rogers, even though we don't know much about them, but once I create the One Piece. Yeah, yo. You might not know what I'm talking about, but, you know, One Piece followers for sure. But yeah, yeah, one one, just like Lin Lin. He's gonna become, he's gonna become, you know, instead of Big Mom, he's gonna become Big Dad, Big Daddy. Eventually, you know, I gotta put up those calories. Yeah, Big Daddy. Big Daddy coming up. You know, Lin Lin has like fucking, uh, and she has a family, literally. Her own children, not grandchildren. She has like 60 to 100 grand uh, children of her own. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be called Big Daddy. She's not supposed to called Big Mom. She's fat, big, and she has like a bunch of children. So, you know, Big Mom in every way. You know what to be called Big Dad? <laughs> big Daddy? Big Daddy I one one. Kids, man. I need the kids. Big Daddy one one, bro. Don't worry, they support you though. They're not just uh, they're not just you know crappy kids. Most of them, they support you. They all work. Yeah, they, some of them are like you know famous on their own right. Alright. Big one. <laughs> Big Daddy one one. <laughs> like, I think I like that day, Big Daddy Juan Juan. <laughs> so, you know, my name even goes binary, man, Juan Juan. <laughs> when I was doing my email, I was like, yeah, Juan Juan. The Dune National Park right here. Yeah, yeah it's so so nice, so nice. We're gonna just see all these crazy things as we drive by. We're not gonna stop until we get them probably. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, if you live in the U.S., you know, like you you have so much opportunity to see all so much beauty in this world, you know. This country has so much more beauty than like so most of the world, you know? Like the world, most of the world combined couldn't like re really give this much beauty unless you, you know, count like maybe Australia and shit because they have no hardly any developed land. Let's enjoy forces. <laughs> yeah. They don't, you know, like. Yeah, exactly. Tourism. Any single country, it's, they're gonna find it hard to beat for tourism, you know? For road tripping. I don't think even Australia could get road tripping, yeah, uh, American road tripping. Like, yeah, man, so you could do like off-roading here, fishing, camping, everything here. Like, Australia doesn't have developed lands like this, you know? The, that's why you have to off, uh, go overlanding, off-roading most of the time. 
like bacon uh, lamb, bro. Like, there's like. Yeah, it just land. Yeah, it's just land. So that's why they don't. Why would they build roads if they don't have cities? You know? Yeah. It's like, no, I mean, it's just because they only have few cities in the coast and then the land is like. Think of America, right? If only like California and New York and a few other cities existed, what about all the stuff in the middle? Who's gonna go through any of that? Like it's mountains, no roads, you know, poisonous things, like so many different poisonous creatures. You know, it's, it's, it's tough. But America did it, America did it. That's what I love about this country, man, the ability to travel. Uh, the U.S. did the highway thing on the roads. Yes. Yeah. Yep, yep. Look at that dude cruising, you know, cruising along with literally his apart entire house and, and guest he house. He has one thing and he has another one like yeah. rolling over. He actually is missing a few things. He's missing another car so that, you know, he could go to the small places afterwards. So he needs to be towing a car too, you know? So. This guy's crazy. He's a gangster. He's hauling a long, uh, Two apartments, you know? That's an OG right there. Yeah. You know, that's also one of the things that I really want to do, you know, so like <laughs> we're doing it I got a video of you doing it properly, too, but like it's so cold, you know <laughs> okay. So we couldn't properly do it yet, you know It's freezing. It's yeah, like cold man. It's like You, you want to do it and you want to force your body to do it But your body's like having so much pain. It's like yeah. you're fighting against yourself like yeah. I mean, but, your will. but like it's, I mean, like you know, like the, there's also a lot of studies that says you know, taking cold showers and stuff, right? It it's actually, good. it's really good for you for many reasons, you know, uh, like it, it it wakes your body up in a lot of ways, you know, like it, it shocks your body in being awake, um, and then like it it it, it pumps your so your adrenaline gets rushing, it pump, your blood your blood gets pumping properly, your blood starts oxygenate, oxygenating properly because thinks it's dying so it's trying to get a lot of oxygen you know so you, you get a lot of oxygen if you breathe properly of course uh, and then like uh, since it's so active right away right in such a shock form right um, you start uh, metabolizing food and fat right away so that like it, it thinks it needs that reserve energy no matter what to like you know stay warm and um, and do everything so I heard that I heard that yeah so like that you know uh, that's like what scientists scientists are like you know working on you know proving so like that theories has been proven uh, 
it has a lot of good evidence, including that guy named Iceman. Like where he literally he goes to like he goes to like frozen areas, right? And the he, wolf guy? Yeah, he's like naked, completely naked, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then like like you want to do, bro? Get naked, you know? Get naked in a tundra, you know? He goes to tundra. Breathing yeah, his breathing techniques and stuff, right? So like he literally he go, he'll go in the water in in a tundra area, man. Like literally, everyone says that's hypothermia. You're just asking for hypothermia doing that, right? But no, this dude did it, man. Like, I don't know for how long he did it, but like, he, he was like in the water, in in like glacial area. So if he could do it, man, other people could do it too. So like, he's teaching other people, you know, like, you know, slowly how to, how to breathe like him, how to, and how to like, you know, get your mind and body ready to be able to, you know, go through that kind of uh, ordeal. So it's crazy, bro, Pirate King. Gotta slowly build up tolerances to all these kind of things, bro. Got this, got this. You want party naked? How are you gonna say you party naked if you can't even party naked in Vancouver, bro? They gotta laugh at you. Yeah. They're like, you can't party naked in this cold? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Take your sorry ass back to LA. <laughs> to your desert country. <laughs> I come from the land of desert <laughs> to conquer the land of ice. <laughs> Party naked! They're gonna call you Naked Man, Big Daddy Wan Wan, aka the Naked Man. <laughs> Like, hey, you are audience. Put <laughs> down in the comments. What's your favorite nickname for him so far? <laughs> Big Daddy, Big Daddy Wan Wan, <laughs> Naked Man, or just Wan Wan? Wan Wan. You never know. It takes one to know Wan. Click like. If you don't like. Right? Yeah, <laughs> like if you don't like it, well subscribe anyway. You hate it. <laughs> Donate money. <laughs> like the, the more uh, opposite <laughs> of like you are, the more you should do for us, you know, yeah, so that we can yeah. get better. So we can improve. Yeah. <laughs> By following us, you know, you can check that we're getting better. Yeah, otherwise, how would you know? Yeah, how are we gonna keep, keep a track? Like, hey man, this guy sucked before, but now he's awesome, you know? How you yeah. gonna know that? Yeah, thanks to that dollar I give him every month, you know. Hey, every dollar helps. There's 15,000 people, 15, you know, one dollar a piece, that's 15 grand. That's what happened with one of the, like, a modding community, right? All they do is, like, create, like, extra stuff for a game, like Skyrim, right? They, like, mod stuff, and they, they, they're creating, like, Beyond Skyrim for, like, the last 10 years, they've been working on this mod, okay? They haven't finished it yet, and people have been paying them monthly. So like they have 15, close to 15,000 subscribers, so they get 50,000 dollars every month to work on this mod. Crazy. It's like an add-on for a game that they're not getting paid to do. That they started as a hobby. And yeah, they're probably not gonna finish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna finish. You know they say they are. Just keep on paying. Yeah. Keep on, keep on paying. Yeah, you extend it for another 10 years until the next game comes out. I'm not sure if that's Just do cash it. That's, or credit. That's even better. That's the best price we've seen so far. I'm not sure if that's cash or credit. 